today's video we are back with this squad and yes in this video i have got only two things remaining to be done before getting this thing fired up so that is the first thing is i need to get a seat builded up for this thing i tried to look everywhere almost everywhere so i could not find it place an order to the spare part shop over here for bike who is selling bike components even they could not get it so that was the last hope i was having with me so that didn't work out yes after all of this i have ended with i need to build a seat for this thing yes guys and the next step will be to get the wiring and get it fired up so there are two things remaining let's just start with the seat and get the seat of this thing ready so that we could just jump over to the wiring i don't know whether i could make it in one piece or not so let's just try it out let's just cut out a little bit extra so that uh, just in case i don't ruin up this piece now the moment of truth i need to get this chair like this band and this band and even a little bit bend over this side so two bands in a single sheet that's kind of a challenging let's just see how it turns out perfect it out you want need to lower this area as well so you want need to lower this side as well let's just see i'm trying to go with the, the maximum thing to get this thing perfectly lined up and even i need to give some curve over here as well so when it comes back over here it looks perfect but it looks way too straight maybe i can cover that with the foam maybe i don't know but uh, this area it looks way bad it's uh, empty over here so i have to bring it forward and even need to give some sort of v shape over here there is a lot of work to be done on this seat finally guys i got the seat of this thing ready it took me a hell lot of time i have cottoned up it stretched the sheet on most of the parts i have stretched it with the heat and uh, got it almost almost i cannot say it's 100% right but it almost works out it perfectly fits over here it perfectly fits okay i need still need to open it up a little bit but man it fits perfectly it's working out so next step i have polished it up so the next step would be getting the foam installed and for the foam i have got some backups with me i roughed out some foam from the chair old chair i was having so i roughed it out now i need to figure out a way to get this thing installed over here Yes guys it is super glued over here the thing super glue helped me a lot i just kept this thing over there and uh, placed the seat over and applied super glue so that uh, it is sticked over here so i don't have to worry about the welding and all it's easy i can weld it out there i can bring it out and weld it I don't have the proper tool to give a cut inside so I'm going to use grinder so I have made an attachment long before of this grinder to hold up in the chair late over here so let's just use it up
yes guys got the seat done and uh, installed some support rubber underneath there so that uh, it won't be laying on the plastic it's the rubber points are right over here two point over here and two over here so it's directly on the steel frame that's what the thing is and even got a bush installed which need to be welded out perfectly but for now guys this is the lock for the front this two over here and this two over here and I rubbed out from the other seat this lock so it will be easy for me to get this thing to remove and uh, install it here is how it fits it fits man this is a little bit shaky but because I made a spacer over there that's what anyways that does not matter because the person will be sitting right over here so that does not matter at all the main reason to color it from underneath because when I open up I will be at the gas station to open up this seat so it does not look ugly and uh, that rust and all everything underneath there so it will look black, it will look better, that's what the plan is. Yes guys, finally the seed of this thing is done. I do admit one thing that uh, I wasn't having the right form for this seed, so I just used what I was having and uh, I made it washed. I made it was it is rock solid right now but man I'm going to move with this until I will keep on looking for the seat as I get that seat I'm just going to remove this and throw this thing away this seat away and get the original seat of this bike installed over here but for the time being I can use this seat it's working it's perfect it's perfect, it's perfect, I do admit it turned out perfect, I did ended up making the perfect shape of this seat it took me like two days to get this seat belt so I don't want to like throw it away let's just use it for the time being until I get the perfect seat for this bike I'll keep on looking and uh, I really don't want to make this seat but I wasn't left with any other option than to build this so I will look for like uh, the form, if I could not find the seat, I will look for a perfect form for this seat so that I could just change up the form inside and uh, make it even better. Yes guys, we are back with this bike after a long time. The only thing remaining is the wiring inside. I need to get it out and uh, get it installed over there. So. That's the only thing remaining over here which I need to get that thing fired up. Let's just get the wiring out of here. Yes guys, look at the progress right now. At the wiring, I had got it all inside. I had to extend some wires but that wasn't that much. But still it took me two days to get this much thing done. I didn't record it just because uh, I don't want to bore you guys with this wiring and all so for the time being I used the dashboard with the zip tied over here got the exhaust pipe removed and uh, now it's time to wrap it up I just opened up the complete bundle which, has, which I was having I used it before so I was having a kind of doubt whether it's going to be enough or not so I just uh, made a center mark over here so from one side let's see how it according to me I think so it's uh, more than enough so let's just find it out by getting it this thing wrapped up one tip for all you guys I'm stupid, I'm doing it this this wrapping with the bare hands. It's better if we got something 
or gloves sort of thing on the hands because afterwards it's going to make a lot of catching problem in the hand and all. So make sure if you are doing with bare hands, make sure not to touch any other part of your body. So if you touch means it's not going to be a pleasant experience. Yes guys, got both of them wrapped up and uh, yes, they look perfect man, they look perfect. I really love the way this thing turned out. It's not a game, it's a red thing. Guys, now it's time to get this thing fired up. I hooked up with the battery over there. Just because that battery which is placed over there, I need to get a new one. It's dead, so I just place it temporarily over here. So that battery fuel is there and uh, the dashboard and everything is working let's just fire this thing up and uh, i'm facing problem that the fuel pump does not want to kick on as i self it out hit the starter switch it works out so it's going to take a while to get this thing started <laughs>
just wants to go. I think so. I lost, lose the grip on this thing. Uh, uh. Finally, guys. <laughs> What to say right now? I could not believe I had made a death machine. This is a machine that really wants to launch. So if I did a small mistake with this thing, means I could end up in a hospital. I can say that. So I did write it a little bit, and uh, yes, I said. In the beginning that I'm not going to rev it up but yes I did rev it up and uh, believe me guys this thing was pushing me all the way back and it wants to throw me all the way back and uh, I could not believe that what that insane amount of torque this thing is having I could not believe yes on the bike I checked out the specification of this engine on that bike it was uh, it was producing about 59 horsepower and uh, 26 foot pounds of torque so i don't know what amount of torque that this thing is producing right now with these smaller tires and uh, yes guys i need to change up the gearings because uh, a little bit lower than this they are right now it's 33 so i'm thinking to go with 35 because uh, i don't want to make this thing a death machine so i'm just going to reduce a little bit of gearing ratio just because uh, at the starting when i had uh, accelerate completely accelerated it, it does not want to go after i noticed the rpm like when it hits seven means it just launches from 7 it just goes all the way to 13 we can say 13 and a half because at 14 it's red line so it just wants to go that's and even the RPM just jumps over and this wheel was spinning on a hard surface maybe on the road means it could end up in lifting up the front and I don't know I'm not going to ride this thing at the road so it's uh, it's not a pleasant experience right on the road and yes guys that was the talk of this thing and i need to correct up the steering wheel because it is way too sharp right now so as i was hitting any sort of bump and all i wasn't feeling any any bumps the shocks was working perfect as i was hitting any bumps means this thing was just uh, wobbly and uh, was pushing me right and left so that was the thing with this thing and even I need to get the air filter box like adding up two air filters on this thing because right now I have just removed the orange like the rubber packing from the top so that it could get extra air so it's getting direct air right now I don't want it to get direct air so I need it from the air filter so I need to add up two filters over this so that, that's the thing and uh, what else yes the most important of all I need to cut out the steering wheel and uh, I will not ride it with this sharp steering at all because I it will just uh, flip over that's what the thing is it just wants to flip over yes guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my future videos thank you guys for watching and have a great day because i had a great day <laughs>